What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I'm the malt activist and thank you for joining me for this, wow, uh, inaugural video of 2023, if you like. And in this video, we discuss a distillery that has uh, enamored so many people and captured the hearts of so many people. It's on the lips of so many people. I'm, of course, talking about, ooh, uh, here, here you go, Bimber. Let's go. Now, before I begin, I want to welcome our first time viewers. Thank you for clicking through to this video. If whiskey is your thing, then this channel is the one for you. Please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all of the above, none of the above, whatever it is. Uh, I'm just glad that you're here. Um, this is a whiskey, whiskey channel. We, we talk about whiskey reviews, whiskey lists, whiskey rants, whiskey vlogs, cocktail recipes, everything in between. Just, you know, just everything to do with whiskey. Uh, and if the sight of a middle-aged man telling you everything you want to know about whiskey, is uh, you know is music to your ears then this channel is the one for you so like I said it'd be awesome if you could like share subscribe comment but if you don't you know what I'm just glad that you're here to my returning viewers thank you so much and a very very happy new year to you it's been an amazing 2022 and I know 2023 is going to be even better so it's good to be back on the horse making these videos for you uh, so you know what let's get cracking So, Bimber, mm, interesting. Here we go. That's what the bottle looks like. This is a, uh, this is a single, single cask bottle. This is a, the Rechard uh, cask. Uh, I have a couple more sitting here with me. I have a, what is this? I have an ex bourbon cask as well. I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. And I do also have a sherry cask. And this is the one I want to talk to you about today. The sherry cask. I mean. Not specifically just this whiskey, but about Bimber in general. So I, um, you know, I got introduced to Bimber maybe about two, little over two and a half, three years ago when um, this is during COVID. Yeah, so during the 2020s. Uh, and, uh, you know, their people got in touch with us with our whiskey club and they uh, they were kind enough to send us a few bottles for us to taste. We'd never tasted Bimber before and that was my first time tasting it. They were nice enough to send through uh, these three single cost bottles that I have on my hand. They also sent through what I believe is a blended uh, whiskey from Bimber called the Apogee. Now, I think I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I'm not 100% sure if if I'm not, then please let me know. So we had these three single casks and the Apogee that we tried, which the, the, the blend was kind of okay. I mean, nothing to write home about, but these single cask bottles were just, woo, stunning. Absolutely stunning. And uh, so, you know, I thought I'd bring these out because I don't think we've done, uh, we've reviewed a Bimber on this channel. So there would be a nice first. And secondly, and more importantly, you know, just um, if uh, if the Oswas are, uh, you know, a, a benchmark for anything, it's the fact that Bimber has been getting a lot of uh, recognition and notice from the whiskey drinking community uh, for obviously it's outstanding whiskeys. And, you know, I think this year it was one of the finalists. Uh, and I think I think it might have even be the runner up for best new distillery. Uh, I, uh, I think uh, I think Merkin won that one but you know what bimber was a very very close second in my opinion and again you know stunning stunning whiskeys uh i love the shape of these bottles man they're like so cool um they remind me a bit of mccallan you know i think uh in a good way a uh, lot of um uh, compass box bottles also come in this shape as well. So I'm not sure if these are standard issue bottles or, uh, you know, uh, hand blown specifically for Bimber. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever the case, I think these are great looking bottles. I love the size. I like anything sort of, you know, uh, slim and long and uh, keep, keep the jokes to yourself. Keep the jokes to yourself. So Bimber, what do we know about Bimber? Again, you know, a very, very new distillery. I think, uh, uh, opened its doors uh, in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to try and get you some details. Yeah, I think about uh, 2016, it laid down its first spirit. And then in 2019, when the whiskey was three years old, they released them. I think they were called the first. I'm on their site now. So if you look at their collection, 
uh, yeah, you have these whiskeys called The First, and I think they're also, uh, one of them was also a single cast whiskey. So for their inaugural release, they had a bunch, they had, uh, they had a Rechart casks, a Rechart oak cask, a ex bourbon uh, oak cask, they had a distillery exclusive sherry cask, uh, they had a distillery exclusive version cask, they had a distillery <laughs> exclusive peated finish, uh, they were also selling new make, uh, what else? Yeah, so, you know, uh, f very, very new distillery, 2016, English distillery on top of that, which is fantastic. I love that fact, it's an English distillery, uh, because I think they're doing some fantastic work, and I think we need more distilleries uh, in, uh, in England, we, I think we need more distilleries. Yeah, so that brings us to Bimber. Now, what I have here in my hands is the uh, Sherry Cask single cask bottle. And this is matured, I believe, exclusively in Pedro Jimenez casks, PX casks. So it says, a unique single malt crafted with passion and matured in the finest ex Pedro Jimenez Sherry Cask, limited single cask, please. Okay. What I have here is cask number 46, bottle number 18. I don't know if you can see that. This is bottle one of 315, uh, bottled on 30th June 2020. So smack bang in the middle of the pandemic, which means it was probably laid down in 2017. I'm going to guess this is three years and change. And it's bottled at a hefty, hefty 58.5% ABV. So, uh, you know, I noticed that a lot with younger whiskeys um, where, where the ABV is bumped up super high, like crazy high, you know, late 50s. And I think what that does is it kind of also masks roughly how young uh, the whiskey might be. But having said that, with Bimber, I think, uh, you know, good solid spirit. And I believe their cost selection is just like absolutely stunning. Yeah, so I'm on their site now and I'm looking at the details of their Sherry single cask uh, release. Now it says the uh, this cask has been sourced from Spain. This cask was previously utilized in a Jerez Solera for several decades, imparting a delectable selection of bright and rich fruit forward notes. So, which means from what they say in the literature that this is a legit uh, sherry cask. This is not a seasoned cask. It is a legit uh, Spanish oak sherry cask uh, that was used in the uh, Jerez Solera uh, for for storing and making um, sherry PX uh, and then used here. So I don't know how they managed that. I believe there are some restrictions by the Spanish government that does not allow the export of these barrels of these casks, but somehow it seems like they managed it. And uh, that could explain why even at three years old, I mean, look at that. That's that's original color, by the way. That's natural color. Um, that even at three year old, it does not have the telltale signs of a young, young whiskey. So, you know, whatever it is that these guys are doing, I think they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, and um, wow, yes. And the other thing, the other thing is that uh, this is probably as close to a craft distillery as you will get because you know they um i believe they grow their own barley they have a farm um you know uh, it's uh, it's floor malted on the premises it's of course distilled and and also bottled on the promise uh, promises on the premises uh, as well as stored over there so you know doing everything there in one place um uh, means uh, means that uh, they can closely 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 control the quality and monitor the quality of everything uh, including the barley uh, and uh, and the floor malting, you know, um, and uh, then of course it's down to uh, it's down to cutting the spirit well and then making sure that it is uh, matured in a stunning cask. And I believe they've done that. I believe they've done that. So there you go, that's what it looks like. It's non chill filtered, it's, it's natural color. 
Let's go over the details one more time. This is um, this is a single cost bottle, uh, matured exclusively in PX casks. This is cask number 46, bottle number 18 of 315, bottled on 30th June 2020. And this is bottled at 58.5% ABV uh, at natural cost strength. Of course, this is non-chill filtered and natural color. So the way we like whiskey to be made. Hmm. Okay. There you go. That's what it looks like. Let's start. Let's start tasting. Whoa. What a big nose. Ah, very, very big nose. You need to get past the ethanol first. Lots of um, deep rich dark chocolate cranberries red fruit i get uh caramel i get mochaccino frappuccino uh roasted ground coffee beans roasted coffee beans <sighs> yeah and lots of fruit red fruits different types of red fruit stewed red fruits yeah, this is a good nose, even, even if it's a little, little aggressive uh, in the beginning. And I think you need a seasoned nose to kind of, you know, um, get past the, uh, the ethanol in the first place. Ah, now I, now I get, now I get the youngish spirit now. Yeah, so interesting, um, you know, I think it's a great nose. I think it's a lovely nose uh, and purely because I know this whiskey is three years old. Um, so, in, uh, you know, the fact that it has a nose like this, that it has this kind of, uh, I, I'd like to say complexity uh, and, and this kind of a personality only after three years means that, uh, you know, every, every step of this whiskey making process had to be top notch in quality in terms of you know the barley this the spirit um, uh, the spirit cut the the casks the cask management everything you know it's uh, it shows that it's been you know uh, treated with mm, extreme respect I like the nose. I can't really shake that ethanol off. It's there, but I like it. I know, I know with a few drops of water, this will do well as well. I won't add water to it right now. I just want to see what it tastes like. I had this maybe like a year, year and a half ago. I've got the bottle sitting since then. So it's, uh, it's sort of, uh, you know, uh, I guess transformed a little bit from the time I had it first. So it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like now. Chin chin. Mm. Ow. Uh, yes. This is quite magnificent, actually. This is, this is firing on all cylinders, all cylinders. Um, let's, let's start with the salted caramel, the, uh, the very dark chocolate, almost a tiramisu in here. Uh, um, red currants, uh, maybe a hint of uh, uh, licorice, uh, butterscotch, um, some red fruits back in here again. I want to say uh, cranberries. I want to say um, wild red berries. <sighs> and raisins, lots of raisins. Um, and then it ends, ends with a nice sort of uh, soft leather touch. So not very oaky, but I get this leather feel to it as well. Mm. And that finish, super, super long, very deep. Um, just sitting here. Wow, maybe a hint of something bitter now. I'm not 100% sure, but you know what? This is uh, 
wow, this is quite quite a stunning whiskey in my opinion. Um, and again, I, uh, everything considered, right? This is three years old, uh, and um, uh, to get a whiskey to taste like this after three years old, after three years, uh, it, it means you really have to do everything, not just right, but you have to hit everything out of the park so and i think they've done that and which is why you have a whiskey like this and i can't wait i can't wait for their five seven nine year old uh, expressions to come out i'm sure they have a lot of um uh casks sitting there in the warehouse uh you know tur turning older uh, as we speak so yes definitely looking forward to that Uh, and in the meantime, man, wow, if you haven't, if you haven't tried Bimber, if you haven't tried this new distillery, I really, really think you should get your hands on it. Um, an English single malt whiskey. Uh, they're not, it's not an anomaly anymore, but it's definitely a rarity. So I think definitely just for that, you can and you should try and get your hands on it. But at the same time, the juice is really, really good. Yeah. This is good juice. This is really, really good juice. I really like it. Uh, maybe that hint of something bitter could have been avoided. I'm not sure why it's there, uh, but you know what? It is not um, big enough to be that noticeable for me to be like, oh, that sucks. No, no, no. It's, it works. Everything together, it works. I'm really happy with this whiskey. Um, like I said, I love the fact that you know it's probably as close to a craft distillery as you'll get everything is homegrown handmade uh and uh you know this uh, we were having a chat with uh, some friends the other day about uh, ai taking over the world and you know i was of the opinion that there are some things that still need to be done by hand and and i'm glad that whiskey making is one of those endeavors that no matter what you do, no matter how much automation you put into a distillery, you still need, uh, you know, that one person at the end to have a sip and be like, okay, you know what, this this uh, this passes the test, or it doesn't. And for that, we will always have um, we will always have the human touch, no matter how far AI uh, progresses. You know, so I'm glad I'm glad whiskey making is still one of those passionate. Uh, endeavors or industry that still requires humans you know yes I could drink this I could drink this a whole lot um, and I have as you can see mm -hmm. <laughs> so wow yes thank you yes this was uh, this was our first video of 2023 I procrastinated a little bit I'll be honest with you because you know I just wanted to chill and spend time with the fam we had guests visiting it was it was, uh, you know, it was really, really cool. Um, I indulged in oh, so many different things and I just wanted to do that and be happy and just be relaxed before I uh, start making videos again. But you know what? Now that I'm sitting behind the camera and talking to you guys, oh, I really missed it. And I'm glad, uh, and I'm glad we're back. And I'm glad we're back. So, so thank you. Uh, thank you for, uh, for being a part of this journey. Like I said, 2022 was great. And I wish that 2023 is even better to our first time viewers. Thank you for stopping by. Like I said, just glad that you're here. Would be great if you could subscribe. If not, no worries. Uh, and to my returning viewers, you guys are awesome. To my Patreon uh, and YouTube members, uh, thank you so much for everything. Without you, this channel would be absolutely nothing. Uh, and I appreciate everything. So, yes, on a, on a positive and fun note, uh let's sign this video off oh let's give it a rating let's you know i forgot to give half my videos i forget to give ratings and i shouldn't do that i'm going to give this a very respectable 7.5 b plus and i think that's a good grade for um for what i think is a good whiskey and i think it's actually a very 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 good whiskey um it has its minor flaws which why which is why it loses some points but i think 7.5 means it's above average it's worth the money i have no clue how much this costs so don't hold me to it uh, maybe it's insanely expensive and everybody is going to get mad at me, but I genuinely don't know how much this whiskey costs. It was given to us by the um, uh, by the distillery and with no strings attached, by the way, just to taste. And I'm being very, very honest with you. Uh, they don't even know I'm doing this review, so it is what it is. So I do genuinely like this whiskey. 
uh, and I'm going to give it a 7.5 B plus and I've already said bye like a million times so I won't do it again so please uh, that's the Mount Activist signing out until next week peace